Hey, good morning, guys. Today, let's talk a little bit about uh, kayaking nightlife. When you're out here, especially in the pre-dawn, post-sunset, you definitely want to have enough lighting on, uh, not only legally, but obviously for safety. So, I'm a big fan of uh, having as much as uh, you need and then some backups. So on the front I've got my nav lights which are conveniently just little magnet on the bottom, a little bracket that comes with it. They're rechargeable and Guardian Angel makes those. I have another one on the back of uh, a little white cooler cover which helps light up the whole cover which is nice. This is actually one of my favorite lights and um, it's made by Orion it's made by Orion the telescope company and you can cycle through four different intensities of red and then two of white so uh, not only that it's waterproof to three feet and if you take off this cover you can plug in USB to charge your phone or whatever you need to charge. So that is really convenient. Uh, that flashlight, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's just great. Uh, you don't have to worry about it getting wet. And uh, it's another charging source. It lasts for a long time. And I don't know, I'll charge it once every three or four trips. As you turn it off, it gives you a little blue light that flashes four, it's, it's charged, uh, three, two, one as it dies. What else? I also have a really bright light, partially for safety, but also for lighting up any glow in the dark lures. And last but not least, uh, I've got the power cap. It's called the power cap. Big, I'm a big fan of chartreuse, so not only is it the cap, but uh, it's just easy to see even without the light. I am in my 50s and need readers most of the time. If I'm trying to read in low light conditions, this light, if I'm trying to snap a lure on a snap a swivel, uh, untie something, retie something uh, this is this hat works great I don't need my readers because it just lights up everything I need right in front of me you can't have too many lights out here you want to be seen you want to be able to see there's this little map pocket you can add to your kayak and that works great for holding a light especially a bar light like this so it illuminates your deck you know if you have a fish in your deck or changing lures again you want to be able to light up what's ever around you so you can see so there are some of those tips um, go out and get yourself some lights I'll leave some links below to to uh, these products I don't sell any of them I'm not endorsed by any of them but uh, I found that they work pretty good <clears throat> now let's see if we can catch some fish so one other point about the clip-on lights is I'm taking my kayak on and off my car every day I'm out here so anything that is easy to put on or off the kayak for transportation purposes they work out like a charm otherwise I would think about hard wiring them but that's just one more thing to break while you're trying to get this thing in and out of the garage on and off the car so you do need to keep in mind that when you're fishing in cold weather, have them fully charged. Try to keep them warm until you're fishing, uh, until you get out on the water. And um, they're obviously not going to last forever. So they're um, LEDs and uh, the way they work is they don't give you much of a warning when they're dying. They pretty much just die like rechargeable drill so keep that in mind maybe test them out in your area just leave them on 
outside or something and note the temperature see how long they last uh, on a warm day they might last five hours uh, on a cold morning I've had them die as short as 35 45 minutes but uh, we're talking just above freezing temperatures so if you're not fishing in those kind of temperatures you don't have much to worry about but otherwise those those lights work great 